Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's a very exciting video. I have received a lovely PR package from the lovely company that is Makeup with Rising Phoenix. Now they are two lovely ladies and their sisters from Singapore and I always butcher the names. Let's see. Purani? Not sure if that's right. Purani and Darshini. And they make their own eyeshadows. And they are absolutely beyond out of this world. Now, I was lucky enough to be asked by them last year to share with you guys and to review their collection last year, which was the Golden Goddesses palette. I'll leave a link to that in the iCard for you to check out. And they have kindly sent me their new collection today. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. I will leave all details of everything you need to know down in the description bar. And this is the packaging. As you might have seen before, if you're not new to my channel, this is their aesthetically pleasing packaging. And this is their Makeup with Rising Phoenix on the back. So, I have got some information here, but this is how it printed out on my partner's printer. So I'm going to have to put my specs on <laughs> so that I can read it to you because I'm as blind as a bat. So it says, Dear Julie, thanks for the love. Hope you are doing well. This is our new collection called Never Winter Odyssey, which was released on the 9th of September 2019 Singapore timing. N Never Weather Odyssey collection. This collection is inspired by the ne Never Winter and Never Winter Nights games created by BioWare. Now, I believe that it is a PC online computer game, like fantasy game. I don't actually know anything about it. Um, I've never been a gamer or really into anything like that. So it's interesting for me to find out a bit more about it as well. So yes, this collection is inspired by the Never Winter and Win Never Winter Nights games created by BioWare. The names of the colours are inspired by the character classes of the players and combat spells. The colours are inspired by the evergreen, breathtaking northern and southern lights. Hence you will be seeing a combination of bright colours as well as iridescent shades which best reflects the northern lights. Now staying here on the Isle of Skye you would have think, or would have thought should I say, that I have seen the northern lights. But every time someone, particularly my cousin, he is an avid like northern lights watcher. He will message me and be like, the Northern Lights are going to be up your way. But see, because it's so late at night, I'm a granny. I'm in my bed. So I've only ever seen pictures of it. My partner says once he saw a bit of the Northern Lights um, when he used to stay in a place called Brechen. I think it was Brechen anyway. That's like no street lights and everything, but he's never seen it really properly. But from the pictures that I've seen when people capture them, it's proper stunning. Okay, so it says, it's for this reason that we didn't release this as our summer collection. As the shades are not your usual summer brights, instead we would like this to be part of our permanent collection, hence we are releasing it later in autumn. And autumn, or fall if you're American, is my favourite season. So it says, please take note, our matte eyeshadows comprise of ult ultramarines, which consist of highly intensity pigments, Hence, they will stain your lids. If you do not use an eyeshadow primer, we have created... If you don't use an eyeshadow primer, they will stain your lids, the mattes. We have created them in a way where you can slowly build up the colour so that this gives it, more, gives it more blendability. They will be slightly harder than the shimmer shades. We created them like this so that they are hardy and sturdy enough to survive the transit journey as they make their way to our customers' homes. And then it says, we would love to know your views on this and also your beautiful looks using this palette. We truly hope that you will enjoy using this palette as much as we did handcrafting the shades. So let's get into the shades. Before we do that, I've got a few things here to show you. So this is their business card. It's beautiful. 
It says makeup with Rising Phoenix, creators of the glitter based duochrome eyeshadows, and I love duochrome. 100% vegan and cruelty free cosmetics. Amplify your beauty for every occasion with her highly pigmented products. Uniquely custom made shades, lovingly handcrafted in Singapore. And then it's got all their social media, which I will put in the description. Then you get this little note here as well. And it says how to apply RPX eyeshadows. So it's got the texture. And then it says these are very friendly milled pigments pressed into soft foiled eyeshadows. Then it says brush. Use a dense eyeshadow brush will pick up the most product easily. And then the motion. A little goes a long way, so go with a light hand. And then it's put drag the brush across the eyelid, tap off the excess and apply onto eyelid with a patting motion. These are soft, highly pigmented eyeshadows. Do not swirl your brush. And then storage, it says like all cosmetics, do not, in capitals, place them in direct sunlight. Storing them in a cool, dry and dark place will ensure the longevity of the products. Then you have this little card here. And as you see, it says Neverwinter Odyssey Eyeshadow Collection. And then it's got the names of them all here, which I'm probably going to butcher. So in this video, I am just going to swatch them the best I can. And then later on, at some point, I will dive on in and I will do some eye looks. And I am honestly so internally grateful that they think of me because I'm no makeup artist, you know what I mean? And I'm just so touched. So, are you ready to see? Oh, oh my God, I'm so excited. Now, my lovely postman actually dropped this at my work for me because it had to be signed for. And he knows that I work up there. So he got one of the girls in the office who does the post to sign for it. So that was great. Are you ready, guys? Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. So, no ring light, we're doing natural light and I am going to swatch these bad boys. Now, I like this little card here because it means that I don't have to pop them out because they just pop in and out and I don't have to dig my nails into it. So... The first one, this one here that I'm going to swatch, is called Arcane Trickster. I think that's how it says. So let's just give it a swatch. They are really buttery and soft. I'm just going to swatch on my hand. I mean, look at that. That's one swatch. Look at that. As I say, when I'm doing the eye look, I'll probably... Look at it. Look at that shift. Woo! These girls are so talented. They really are so, so talented. The next one is called Shadow Master. It's this one here. And again, I'm just doing one swipe. Oh my God. Look. Now, it's not showing up. On here, on my hand, it looks like a silvery tone with a slight maybe purple pink undertone to it there's more details of the actual description of the shadows um but the stuff's on my phone i use my phone to film so i will leave that in the description but oh my god look at that and these are one swipe people like i'm not digging my nails in that is one swipe oh so exciting the next one is called veil of protection which is this stunning gold here the thing I love most about these girls' palettes is that there's less mattes and more shimmers and duochromes because I'm not actually a fan of mattes. But oh my god. Now because this is a light colour, I'm just going to put two swatches, but I don't even really need to. Look. Look at that gold. And I actually like the fact that it's not proper blingy, the gold. Oh, that's lovely. That'd be great for Christmas. In fact, those two shades would be great for a Christmas look, wouldn't they? Whoa! I'm so excited for the next two. The next one is called Eldritch Warrior. Oh, this one here. Oh, it's showing up differently on camera. The colour, it looks more purpley here and it looks like greeny there. But I think it's got a purpley greeny shift to it. Oh my God, I'm actually in heaven. 
Oh my God, look at that. Now see when I hold up to the camera, it's green, right? But when I'm looking at it here, it's purpley. So it's two-toned. Oh, I love it. Oh, look, love it, 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 love it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I think she loves it. <sighs> Next up is called Storm Warden. So far, we're getting there with the names. So this one here is called Storm Warden. I'm going to dip our finger in. Oh my God, look at it. Beautiful. Oh my God, I love that. I need another one. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Again, this has got like a sort of silvery pewter grey with mixed glitter undertone, I would say. Again, as I say, I will put them individually in the description and let you know. But oh man, girls, you're smashing it. Now the first matte one we're coming up to is called Invisible Deceiver. Right, so let's swatch this. This is the first matte color. It's just a matte sort of tealy green. And let's swatch it there. So even the matte shades, you know, it's pretty darn good. So that's all of the top row. Here swatched and I'm just going to take my wipe and take off my hands and she's right it does stain <laughs> so the matte one's probably going to stain I'm going to be a glitter ball but there you go okay so let's move on to the second row the next one is called Ty excuse me Typhling Rogue and that is this shade down here. So let's dive on in and get a good shh, go and watch that. So this is it just on my finger. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh, look at that, guys. Is that not just amazing? I would love to go and watch these girls, how they make them. It's just so lovely. That is gorgeous. So that, I would say, without looking at what they've put as the description, I would say that's more like a coppery toned colour. Again, perfect for autumn and winter. Next up is Moonstone Mask, and this is a matte colour. Whoa, does that pack a punch. So I would say this is a purple like a pastel purple, but it looks pink there. So I don't know, maybe a pinky purpley tone, but that's the other matte one. I'll just get my wipe. And I'm super excited for the next two because I love a bit of dual chromage. The next one is called Phantasmal, Phantasmal Killer. <laughs> I think you're going to be fantastically killed. <gasps> and I love green. Look at this. Now see again, I'm looking at it there and on my finger it looks green. But when I show it to you, it looks brown, doesn't it? Okay, okay. Right, let's swatch. Oh my God. Now look, this is how amazing. It's, it's like it's a trick. I don't know what you're seeing when you look here. Does that look green to you? This is the one making sure I've done it right sorry this that look it looks brown doesn't it it looks brown in the pan it does it does and on my hand here it looks like the color of a dragon like dragon scales and whatever and then I go like this to you and it looks brown my mind is blown I can't I mean I mean what I mean honestly honestly I don't know if I move you closer. Can you see? No, see, it just looks, ah, oh, you girls, honestly, talented, talented. Oh, I can't cope. Right, the next one is called Prismatic Blast. And that is this one here, which you're seeing the greeny shit. I can't believe this looks brown on the camera because it actually is green and it's green on my hand. So it's obviously brown with a greeny shift. Anyway, 
prismatic blast is this one here. I'm just blown away with how cool that is and how you can do that. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. <gasps> Look at it. It's like mermaid. It's like mermaid-y, isn't it? <gasps> Stunning. Love it. Love it. I got made a bit of a mess with that one. So the girls are right. You really don't need much pressure. Right, let's rub this off my hand. And we've got the last two. Oh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to play with this. I'm so excited. I'm waiting on a palette coming from Colourpop, which I'm super excited about. I've got this palette to play about with. And I've got two palettes from, when you see this, you'll have already seen my box swap with a Riri. I've got two palettes from her to play with. It's cray cray. Okay, the next one is called Seraphic, Seraphic Guardian, which is this one here. And this definitely has a shift. Like, this looks like a series kind of pink to you guys. And it is. But then see when you move it like this, it's like pink, gold, pink, gold, pink, gold. And again, when you look at it there on camera, it's pink. When I look at it here, it's like, it's not pink, it is pink. It's not pink, it is pink. Ah, I just can't deal. Look, do you see what I mean? Pink, kind of goldy shift. See that? Pink, goldy shift. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, girls? You're totally just nailing it. And then the last one, which is the last matte, is called Blade Golem. And it is a blue. And that's just one swipe of the matte. Now, normally matte shades don't swatch well. I know it's pretty transparent, but wow. Wow. Honest to God. You see, oh, I am speechless because I just think... To have the talent to make all those shadows yourself, there must be so much that goes into it. And I feel very honoured to be able to share it with you guys. But not only share it with you guys, I get to have it in my possession and I get to play with these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Like, can we just take a minute? Honestly, absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comments what shades you are drawn to. And let me know in the comments which ones you're dying for me to try. I'll leave a description I'll leave the proper like in-depth description of all the shades down in the description. But oh my god, I cannot wait to put these on my eyes. So thank you again so so very much to the lovely ladies for creating this amazing product for us i have to say i'm so in love with this already like see as soon as i opened it and looked at it at work i was like yep i love this as i say i am personally for me like i wouldn't i prefer a palette that's got more shimmers than mattes i know you need a little bit of matte in them so i'm glad that there are more shimmers than there are mattes there's three mattes three matte shades and then one two three four five six seven eight nine glittery shimmery duochrome crazy wizardry going on here and i love it and that's what I love about the other pad palette as well, the Golden Goddesses. I think I might be a bit more in love with this one. Both of them are great, but oh, this one is just... See, as soon as I opened it, I was like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. These three right here, I was like, oh my God. Yes. So, guys, I'll leave all the links down below. I'll leave the information, the pricing, anything else that you need to know go and check out makeup with rising phoenix they have a instagram as i say i'll put all the details they also have a youtube channel where they show swatches of the different shadows that they create they put a lot a lot of their information 
obviously on their actual website but they also put a lot of information more on their instagram so please do check these ladies out they are so talented they literally make all of these by scratch they're not some big company like l'oreal or mac or color pop or any of these it's two ladies i mean I'm sure they've got other people that do help them in the production line or something like that with packaging. Possibly they don't. But, honest to God, let's support indie brands. They are amazing. And they've been so super kind and supportive to me, um, messaging back and forward, even with the loss of my dad. Suddenly they're in uh, November last year. They are just genuinely lovely, lovely ladies. So, please do... Subscribe to my channel, like this video, click the bell button to be notified. Come back to see some looks on this lovely palette and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.